Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, Psychic Medium and Channel. We're going to get the show started right away this evening, and I'm going to just give a couple painless, hopefully, PSA announcements for those who are new and those who are returning. First and foremost, I will never reach out to you and tell you you need anything. I will just never reach out to you. Um, if somebody reads this out to you claiming to be me, report them. Get them kicked off whatever platform you're on. It is not me. I do not reach out to people. As a matter of fact, I sometimes uh, take a little too long getting back to people who have reached out to me. And not on purpose, just a life thing, very busy thing. Um the next thing, if you would like to call in, you can call in and ask a question, one specific question, or connect with a loved one on the other side. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. Or if you are joining us live on YouTube, you can post a question in the YouTube chat. I'm going to go between callers and YouTube answering questions and connecting with loved ones. Please make sure your question is specific about work, work, life, love, career. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, um, please uh, have their name and relationship ready. And if you have a question for them, ask that right away. When asking a question, okay, here's the thing. If you want to say, hey, just tell me whatever spirit wants me to hear, okay, you can do that. It's going to take a little longer, but if you have a very specific question you want to ask, that's always better because what spirit wants to tell you and what you need to hear are not always the same thing, and we don't always like it. And sometimes I tell people what you know, spirit wants them to hear, and then they get upset. Don't, don't be, you're the one who, who gave like a willy nilly question. If you don't want to hear that, then by all means, make sure you have a question ready that you can ask that you will like the answer to. Okay. At the beginning of every show, I do. Um, names, and I also do songs. And today will not be any different. I am going to go through and give the names that I am hearing. Uh, this could be your name. It could be a loved one on the other side's name. It could be the name of someone you both know that's still here. Somebody just keeps yelling out, tell dad I love him. Tell dad I love him. Tell dad I love him. So go Tell Dad, and then I'm hearing uh, that song, Tell It on the Mountain, from the same person. So that should help narrow it down. However, um, it's like, go tell it on the mountain, over the something and the something. Okay, that's all I'm singing of that. <laughs> okay, and I'm not on songs yet, but... Somebody is just saying, go tell dad I love him, tell dad I love him, tell dad I love him. Now, for names, I am hearing Giuseppe, I am hearing Josefina, I am hearing Angelina, I am hearing um, Mary Ella or Mariella, Mariella, I think it's Mariella. I'm also hearing the name Giovanni, I'm also hearing the name, again, Giuseppe, he really wants to make sure he's coming through. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm I'm also hearing the names uh, Brian. Brian is just always coming through on the show. Tina, I'm hearing the name Tanya. I'm hearing the name Mike, Michael, Mike, Michael. Mickey, I'm hearing the name Joshua. I'm hearing that there's so many names coming through, you guys. Seriously, Mary, I'm hearing the name uh, Luke. 
Really? Leviticus? I, I don't know if somebody named their child that or if they would just know who that is. And it might not be somebody's child. It might be somebody's parent. Maybe they talked a lot about Leviticus to you. Please don't ask me what Leviticus is. Please do not. Um, I'm also hearing the name Wendy and Wendell. Okay, we're going to stop names right there, and I'm going straight up, straight up into songs. So I've been getting songs all, all day, all day, all day. So I've written some of them down, but I know more are going to come, like Go Tell It on the Mountain. Um, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. That song, dark to my eyes, da da na na. I don't know this, the words to it, but I kept hearing, I think it's dark to my eyes. Dart? Not like a dart. I think it's dark to my eyes. I don't know. If you guys know, say so in the chat. Um, oh my gosh, this one. Leave me alone. Let me go home. <laughs> Let me go home. And either start over or get sober. Maybe it's both. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay. And then Adele, I said, burn, burn to the flame. I'm probably singing it wrong. Those are probably not even the words. Um, this song just is crazy to me that I'm hearing it. Get down, boogie, oogie, oogie, get down, boogie, woogie, oogie, however that song goes. Oh, my goodness. And then that song, Secret Agent Man, which I used to think was Secret Asian Man. It is apparently not a Secret Asian Man. <laughs> um, Nothing Man by Pearl Jam and Black by Pearl Jam. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, we're the monkeys. The monkeys don't fool around. We're too busy singing to something, something, something. And then the Sugar Hill Gang, anything Sugar Hill Gang, if you know, you know. Wendell is really coming through. So if somebody knows somebody named Wendell, please speak up in the chat, Wendell. Um, and then uh, Muskrat Love. And no, I am not going to sing that for nobody. <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> There's no way I'm singing that for anyone at all. I want to say hi to everybody who's joined us live. If you would like to join the show live, it's every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. You can join in on, uh, you can call in 845-277-9131 and ask a question or you can watch live on YouTube put in questions. Um, I'm happy to answer those questions for you. I just go back and forth and during the time allotted, which is one hour, it's TV, so it has to be that hour slot. I will answer as many questions as I can. I, get, I, I really want to thank Scott from WSES and Rudy from Rude Rangers TV because they make sure my shows get out on everything. They are absolutely amazing. And by the way, WSCS on the um, uh, YouTube watches on WSCS. Those numbers are amazing. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching and liking and doing all the things you like with those shows on WSCS. Um, so yes, okay, we are going to start with uh, questions. I'm going to take a caller and then I'm going to go to a question on... Um, on YouTube. That's it. That's it. We're going to go to 805 first. 805, please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Hi, Tony. It's Sal. How are you? I'm good. Hey, Sal. Happy birthday. Well, thank you so much. You are so you welcome. Know, when I, 
Go ahead, love. Um, I usually listen to you while I'm doing house cleaning jobs on Mondays. And today's the first day I got to see you live, like I'm watching you on my screen. You just cracked me up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that. Well, I, I'm doing, then I'm doing my job because part of what I love to do is just make people laugh. It's so important to me um, to, to help people laugh. The world can sometimes be a little bit heavy. So if we can laugh, that is, it's a beautiful thing, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, okay. So, um, did any of the names I say in the beginning mean anything to you? No. Giuseppe, okay. definitely not. I don't know any, okay. I don't really know any Italian people from the other side, so Okay. That's okay. I just wanted to make sure because every time I thought about you after you said it was your birthday, I kept hearing that name. So I didn't know if it was associated with you or something else. So I just wanted to double check that. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Go ahead. Sa what question? How can I help you? What birthday thing can I do for okay. you today? So I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever asked you, but can you hook up with an archangel like get a, I mean archangel Ariel is that something that you know I mean I want to I have a question for her yeah what's the question okay so how much longer before I could transition out of cleaning because my body doesn't want it into like teaching classes and this other this new business that I'm going into how much longer does she see it's going to take or is there anything I need to do what does she have to say to me um, Sal, I'm going to let her say it herself because uh, she's really here and my whole form has changed. Um, so I'm just going to channel this answer for you from this archangel. And um, cool. here we go. <laughs> it is up to you how long you would like to take before you take your second leg in life. You are allowed to start this whenever you would like. The question is, how long will it take for you to get it up and running and have the confidence to push it upon the other people or spread it or share it with the other people? Wherever your focus is, is what is going to come to you more and more and more. So we ask that you now keep your focus on this at all times and continually put... Uh, Mm. put it out there, put the word out there, put the classes out there, put everything out there that needs to be out there, continually have um, postings that you are putting out there, bombard it. Believe me, the right people will see it and they will partake in it. They will adore it. They will love it. You will attract those who are the ones for you. You will attract those that are the ones for you. It's a matter of being ready within you, and it is a matter of being ready outside of you. And so, for your birthday, we are going to pour pink light into you now. We are going to fill you with confidence and love. And knowing. Make sure every day, twice a day minimum, you are putting it out there. Sit down and visualize this, see this, and then allow it to come to fruition for you. Okay, Sal, happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are welcome. Sal, hey, if you are not busy at, I have to do the time, I have to do the math in my head of the time, 8.30, uh, five, at uh, 9 my time, which I think is 7 your time this evening, could you pop me a call, Sal? Sure. 
There are just a few things I want to give you a little bit more of things you can do, but I don't want to, um, I'll just okay. do that between you Thank and you I. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Sal. Absolutely. And hey, um, Monday night, I did a uh, new moon manifestation meditation, but you can do it at any time. And it allows it. It's a manifestation. It's a meditation that where anybody can go listen to it. It's on YouTube. It's the video I did right before the one we're in right now. And you can go on there and you can have um, three men, three things you want to manifest. Um, so I walk through in the beginning of how, you know, how the, me the meditation is going to go. And you can think of your business, something tangible, uh, healing someone from the other side, whatever it is, and go and do this meditation after the show, folks, not now after the show. And it is really remarkable. The comments I was getting afterwards were amazing. And I'll tell you, that is the manifestation meditation I use when there's something I really want that's a little bit bigger. That's the process I use. Okay, guys? Okay, Sal? So, Thank you. Thank you, guest. I will go ahead and listen to it. Thank okay. You. Excellent. Happy birthday again, Sal. Thank you so much for calling in and spending part of your birthday with us. Thank you. Take you, care. You too. Thank you. Um, and Sal, I know that I already, um, I know you're still listening. So I'm going to say, Sal, I feel like depending on how much effort, and I don't like to use the word effort, but faith or commitment you put into it in about a month and a half to three months you will be well on your way to only cleaning if and when you want to rather than when you have to okay but it is going to take a certain amount of effort and time time stuff okay okie dokie um I see Grandma Kitty has, Grandma Kitty's Halloween stories has a question. Tony, can you connect me with a friend of mine who passed? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can try. Todd McBride, if you can get to me. Namaste. Okay, um, Grandma Kitty, I'm going to sc scroll down, scroll down. Uh, do you have a specific question for Todd or just any um any anything that comes through please let me know as quickly as you can oh grandma kid yes what is the question the specific question and I instantly hear blue and purple um but grandma kitty I don't think you were asking but I instantly hear blue purple blue and I see like purple and I don't see blue but I see purple but I'm hearing blue. So I don't know if you're seeing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say, Grandma Kitty. If you're seeing any orbs or any like out of the corner of your eye colors, um, that especially blue and purple, that's probably him blue or purple it's probably him now i want to take a moment and apologize my ors are coming out like i'm from new york and i do not know why <laughs> it's probably from the concussion <laughs> but i apologize so i'm going to tell you uh todd would like to say to you um the first thing i'm hearing is don't settle keep pushing forward there are a number of people over here, and I see a circle of people um, that are working to get your uh, pr projects in place, working to get you moving forward. Um, have fun with it. And again, I'm hearing this again, um, push the limits, push your limits, push the limits and push your limits and you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what comes from that don't hold back i think if you don't know what that means it's something coming in very quickly for you 
Okay. And you'll know as soon as it comes, as soon as it appears to you, you're going to go, oh, this is what they're talking about. Push, push the limits, uh, whatever it is. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, I am going to uh, go to the, if I have missed your question, please ask it again uh, in the comments, but I've only done one question so far. So I'll be getting to more questions in a moment. Is it Michelle Lee? Is it doctor my eyes? Is that, I thought it was dark to my eyes. I don't know. I really don't know the song. So that's that's crazy. Thank you, Michelle Lee, for that. Thank you. I am going to go next to 913. 913, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm calling from Kansas. I, I'm sorry, you're calling from Kansas? Hey, how can I, thank you so much for calling in. How can I help you today? Hi. Hi. Um, I wanted to know about my love life. Specifically, there is someone that I like right now. And I wanted to know if this person likes me back and if it's going to go anywhere. Okay. What's the person's first name, love? Adam. Adam. Okay. Wow, they are really taking their time on answering this. Do you know somebody other than yourself, a male with a J name? Yes, that is uh, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's why, because your ex is interfering. Okay, so I'm going to just, for you, anybody listening, listen, I'm going to say this to you, and it's going to sound, if you're not, you're either going to get it or you don't. It doesn't matter if you don't get it. Um, if you don't get it, it's okay. You might resonate. It might resonate with you. Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about energy here. Even after we've broken up with someone, if we haven't let go of everything from that, or they're still keeping attached to us by thinking about us or like, energetically like sending thoughts or whatever however they do it it can make it seem it can interfere with you moving forward it doesn't have power but it can definitely make you seem like you're not completely single even though you're single and ready to mingle okay so here's what i'm gonna do i'm all if you if um if you don't want this it's not going to happen to you don't freak out on me folks okay any ex that we do not want to be connected to has been disconnected and moved away from us and separated from us i get a <laughs> i get a no <laughs> that is a who so we're going to start we're going to start clearing and healing that. And then the next thing that I'm getting is all of our energy has been pulled back from them to us. And all of their energy has been pulled out of us for them. And I get a no. So we're going to clear, heal, release that. They've been stopped and blocked from us. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Even if an ex has moved on, they just might be salty and whatever and not want you to move on. So they or they might not, not even realize that them thinking about you or whatever might be in some weird way interfering. Um, so we're going to clear all that away. We're going to pull all our power back for everybody listening. All of our power has been pulled back to us, um, cleaned, strengthened, and with us. And we're going to do that for everybody. Here's what I'm going to say. Um, the, the newer guy's name is Adam. Adam. Now, do Jessica and Adam have the option for a good relationship? No. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. I feel like there's someone else coming in, 
and what I'm getting from someone on the other side who like may have been, he, he may have wore glasses once in a while and may have had been bald at one point and had a bit of a belly. That's my dad. Yeah. Okay. So you're my dad. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dad, for the good description. (laughs) Your dad is saying, yeah, He's bringing somebody better than this guy to you. That's why this is not. And if for those of you watching, did you see that flash when I said that? Did you? Did you? Because I did. Okay. Your dad is saying he's bringing someone better to you. There's someone who's a much better fit. I hear this person's going to come in after the holidays. This Adam guy isn't a bad guy. He's just not ready for everything you want. He's just not ready to settle down. I don't give a happy hoo-hoo what he says. He's not ready for what you are. Sometimes people think they, like in theory, it it sounds good, but in reality, it, 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 it it's not good. So this is not the best person for you. So after the holidays, once we roll through January, and we start to approach March, okay, you're going to meet someone. Mm -hmm. This person, it might be as we approach March or in March, you're going to meet someone brand new. You do not know this person. And they, um, I'm hearing the word stock, but I'm just saying that, but I'm going to finish saying what else I was going to say. They're going to be so good for you. They're ready to be a husband and a partner. Okay. So when we're dating, we don't often use those terms right away. Like if we are dating and we say, I want to be in a relationship. I want to be dating someone. Okay. We need to change that terminology and we need to take it very seriously because when we say to ourselves, I want to date, then we get a lot of yo-hos that we can date. However, when we say I'm ready to be somebody's wife and I only want people to come in that can be a proper husband. Now just feel that, say that to yourself and feel how that feels with you. And if you're a man, say I'm ready to be somebody's you know, husband, and I want someone to come in that can be a proper wife. It, it, it sits different. It feels different. And it tells you and your energy then will show up in a way of, I'm not playing anymore. We're not just going through the motions to see where this is going to go. If you're not ready to do this, this part of it, back off and go find somebody else who only wants to play. That's not me. Okay. So I want you to realize that, and this is again, um, the whole March and the whole, um, thing is coming from your dad. Now the word stock, I hear stock options. This could mean something for going on in your life, or maybe this is part of what this guy does or has with him in his thing. I'm not sure, but for some reason, your dad is bringing up the word stock, a stock options that I don't want to put a definition on that because it could mean, I don't want to say it means this when it could mean it's something completely different. Okay. So um, mm-hmm. make sure you're exploring that. And and if the, not if, when this guy comes in, if there is something to do with stocks or stop, stock options, please let me know. We, we would all love to know that. The other thing I'm hearing is this guy <laughs> is going to be a really good fit for your lifestyle. Okay, love? He's going to be a really good fit for your lifestyle. And not that he's going to keep you in the lifestyle you're in. And I'm not saying that's a bad lifestyle. But whatever you like to do or want to do or the life you want to have, that's the same life this guy wants. And he's very well suited 
for creating a future. He can see, he can, how do I say this? He is all about building, okay? He's all about uh, building a life with someone, okay? I hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you yeah. so much, love. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Yay. I like that Adam is not the one because this other guy is coming in. I'm so happy to hear that for you, okay? And okay. I'm going to tell you, thank you, there's a difference between a guy who wants to play house and a guy who really wants to build and be in that house and that life. Okay. Yeah. But the yeah. thing about the Adam guy, though, is like, I've never met him before. And it's just like a crush. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't even know if like, he mm. would notice me or what. You know what? It doesn't even matter. It's time to back away from that. I'm going to say something that I've heard a lot of people say it. And based on some of my past experiences, it it hits and it's true. For women... The men, the man needs to like us a little bit more than we like them. Because if we crush on a man, a man knows that and he instantly will make us a fan and treat us like a fan and not necessarily yeah. treat us respectfully. Now, men love the chase and to pursue or they like to be the one th that they like to be the man in the relationship. Most men. And not even in an okay. alpha domineering, whatever, let's not put those titles on it. Let's just say if a man, if they, if something comes to a man a little too easily, sometimes they don't respect it. And if we really crush them, they really can take advantage of that. And because we're so soft natured and willing to accommodate, sometimes that works out really badly and poorly for us. But Adam is not even good for hookups. I'm just going to tell you that. And I'm going to tell you part of one of my gifts is, and I'm going to keep this as PG as possible. I can look <laughs> at a group of guys and know which one is slanging, dangalanging, and which ones are not. I can go, that one is big, that one is thick, that one is nothing. Okay. And I know that that might sound very... And I'm not even trying. It just pops in my head, folks. I'm not even trying. I'm not looking at the guys going, huh, I wonder how he hangs. No, I don't want to know. I don't care how they, but I can also tell what kind of skills they may or may not have. You're not missing anything with Adam. So move it along. That's all I'm trying to say there. Move it along. You're not missing anything with him. Okay. <laughs> that, that it's Is not a compatible tall? thing okay i'm sorry okay. so right around march between now and march just figure out what you really want and what you want married life to look like and don't settle for anything other than that okay love okay excellent thank you so much for calling in thank you appreciate it Absolutely. So you guys, with what I just said about that, I try really hard not to go into that aspect of the gift. And when people are in my office and they'll say something about their private life, I'm like, no, 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 stop. I don't want to see that. <laughs> But sometimes it's a little too late. It's not part of the gift that I always really love, but I do uh, try to be respectful about it. Um, but it does it does help in some cases. I will tell you that I have a couple friends that were going to do hookups, and I was like, "You will be very, very disappointed. This is not going to be good. You guys are not compatible." And sure enough, they were not, and they're like, "Yeah, you were right. I shouldn't have." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. Mm, next time." Next time, don't. Um, uh, okay. Uh, so there's a lot of conversation going on in 
in the uh, in the chat. So I'm trying to find the questions as opposed to the conversation. So please give me a moment. Um, uh, da, 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 da. If you have a question, just post it down below. Jesus, who has 13 dogs? Are those puppies? Somebody, I think Michelle has 13 dogs. I don't know. Who has 13 dogs? What kind of dogs? We all need to know now. We all need to know what kind of dogs are they puppies? Are they available? We all need to know. We're all invested. Uh, uh, Pine Pine Lake Apartments, yes. Um, Daisy knows she's 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 always in. I see lap and bed, lap and bed, lap and bed. Okay. Hey Roxana, how are you? Um, I finally found a question. Roxana, any message from my dad? Next week is three years that he passed during the pandem pandemic. I'm so sorry, Roxanne. Uh, Roxanna, please tell me your dad's first name so that I can make sure I have the right connection. And Roxanna, I instantly see somebody with, um, if this isn't your dad, it could be a br an uncle or a great grandfather or grandfather, but I see somebody with dark hair, a little, just a little bit um, salt with that pepper. At one point, maybe younger, dark hair, a little bit of, um, the skin is not fair like mine. It's not uh, Wilfredo, Wilfredo, am I saying that correctly? Wilfredo, I wanna make sure I have the name Correct, Wilfredo. I see dark hair. I see a skin that's a little bit more tan or olive. It's not white like me. I see um, not super thin. And this is at a young, a little bit of a younger age. So sometimes people show up to me at a time when they were younger, not at a time when they passed. Okay, thank you, Roxana. This is this. She says yes. This is his okay so here's what i have for you um the first thing i hear is don't believe the hype whatever that means for what's going on in your life don't believe the hype don't let go of the dream or your dream and don't settle for less than you deserve. Now, those could be three different messages, or they could be messages that all go with the same thing. Roxana, you are going to know. Don't believe the hype. Don't let go of the dream or your dream. And whatever the last one was, when I channel things go as quickly as they come. Um, and don't give give up. Don't I, don't I don't remember. Maybe don't give up. The next thing that... Uh, your dad is saying is, um, um, I will always love you. I will always be with you. I'm not going any place. It's only the skin that is gone. Uh, the mind or the, uh, uh, um, the mind is still with you. And we think we think with like our brain. I'm just going to repeat what I'm hearing, folks. Take it how you like it. We think we think with our brain, but it's our soul, what we call our mind, which is what creates our future. Oh, my. Oh, my days. Oh, mm. Jesus, Moses, Mary, and the crew. <sighs> okay, this is mind-blowing for even me. So we think we think with our brain, and it's like our, our mind is doing this, right? But it's actually our soul that is like our mind and does the... Like, uh, I, I can't, yes, th that, Wilfredo, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
uh, so his mind, his mind or his soul is always with you. And that is why you can hear his thoughts and his thinking. And he is not going any place and he loves you dearly and will always be with you. Okie dokie. I love that. Thank you, Roxana, so much. Thank you for bringing that through. Michelle, Michelle Lee says, um, 10 great Pyrenees. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And pink pineapple apartments, two labs. And uh, is that hyena? You guys, whoo. You're welcome, Roxana. I'm going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845 277 I'm going to go to um, the next a uh, caller who is um uh two I had two three one two three one what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi Tony, my name is Kia. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely my pleasure. How can I help you, love? Um I just want to know if there's any messages for me from from uh, any say I got many family members over there from, from spirit for me today. Okay. Can you just, let's start with one person. I'm instantly seeing on uh, okay. what I hold on one second and then I'm going to let you give me a name. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, love. Um, I want to describe her to you. She's an elderly woman she, toward the end. She was very, very thin and she wore a long like house robe um, with, with long sleeves and, um, it's presenting as white, but it could have been any color, but it kept, it was like a house coat or a house robe, like, but it went almost down to her ankles and she wore it around a bit when, but she was, when she was a little bit older, she was, she did get thinner. Um, and so I feel like this is either a mother, grandmother, or an auntie that was very close to you. Does this person sound familiar to you? It's possibly my grandma, Betty. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, thank you so much for confirming that. Now, who's the person? Who who's the person you would want to connect with? Uh, that you would want to start the conversation with? The rest of them are here, but she's the one I see first. But let's get the name of the person that that's most on your mind right now. Um, Ross, my dad. R-O-T-H or R-O-S-S? -S? Um, R-U-S-S. -S. R-U-S-S. -S. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I see instantly as somebody who was a little bit seeming, now remember I see them the size of an inch or two, uh, seemingly a little bit bigger in stature, like not, not a skinny mini guy, but maybe a little bit more stocky or bigger built guy is instantly what I see, um, who I see come in first. Does that fit? And it could have been when he was in his, a little bit of his younger years um, also. Does that make sense for him? Um, no, my dad was a smaller, smaller uh, man. Um, okay. I need to ask you, yeah, real small, could actually. this could this be your your grandma? Because they instantly stepped up and stood right next to Grandma Betty. Uh, could this be like okay. her? Does that make sense to you now who it is? Because I have like tears about to come out of my eyes. Um, so I know it's family. I know they're all related. I'm sorry I'm not seeing him yet. It doesn't mean he's not here. I see some, hear some, sense some. But these two came forward first. And if I see them, I always want to give you the description just so that you know they're here with you also. So does does that description? Okay, that, yeah, that, could, that could have been my Uncle Butch, maybe. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I see him like nodding his head like slowly, like, yep, in a, in a, <laughs> yep. Like I can't do a deep voice, obviously. Okay, so the first thing Thank I you. want to he say is, okay, Russ, Russ, we're here. He's on the other side of your grandmother. Okay, so he's right behind me, and I'm not seeing him, but they're they're here together. Now, is there a specific question you would like to start with with them, or would you just 
uh, is there something going on in your life? I hear finances right away, but, but that doesn't, we're not going to yes. go. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. They're so good. Okay. Yeah. I'm in a, every part of my life is not, not good. Okay. The first, it's not been good for a while. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to do today on, uh, by the way, to everybody today on TikTok, the clearing was, um, is, um, moving forward. And I'm really going to encourage you to go listen to that along with a number of other clearings that I've done on there. And I'm really going to encourage you to do the manifestation meditation I did Monday night, um, where it allows you to, to use three things that you want to change or bring into your life. And it's very powerful. It's what I use personally. Um, I will say, I, what, I don't like sharing this with people, but I will say, I've received free brand new vehicles with that um, meditation. So it does work if you go in and you believe and you you work it. Um, the first thing I want to say, I'm going to do Is a- Is that on YouTube, Tony? The, the, Are those on YouTube? The, manifest, the meditation is on YouTube. It's yeah. the one I did right before this, but the clearings are on TikTok. And my TikTok is at Psychic Tony. Okay. And they're each 60 seconds. They're boom, 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 60 second uh, clearings that are very powerful. Like this one we're about to do right here, right now. Um, anything stopping or blocking your blessings. And this is for anyone and everyone listening, including me, folks. I'm going to include me in this one. Anything stopping or blocking our blessings has been healed, cleared, released, removed from our path. I get a no. I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like something pushing in on my temples right now. All that was clear. He'll release that. Okay, the pressure's gone. Okay, the first thing I want to say to you is in about a month, everything's going to change. Just stay very strong throughout this month. You, There are a few things in your life you need to cycle out. And when they say cycle out, that means don't like, for example, if you're not happy with your work, don't just quit your job, start looking for a better job or a side job or start your own business and build that up. And once you have it, then you can quit your job. But they're saying start to cycle out what's not working in your life. I hear also, and I'm sorry to say this, and I don't like saying this, you have a couple hitty haters in your crowd. You have a couple people, they know your greatness, they know your partner and they, your power. Oh my gosh, how did the word partner come out? Oh my goodness. They know your greatness, they know your power. That's what I was meaning to say, but we'll get to partner in a second. Um, And they really, they're like, your cheerleader or, oh, girl, we got you in front of you, but they are hating on you hard um, in the, yeah. yeah. And it's time, like, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm, I, when people are in your life and they want what you have, whether it's a man, your job, your money, your looks, they they have to be so far out of your energy they have to be so far out of your energy because their disdain will stain your energy. You cannot be having people in your life that are silently working against you out of jealousy, envy, or stupidity because whether we believe it or not, that does slow us up and it blocks our blessings and we need to clear the path now the one thing people who are uh, very successful have in common is they are not part of the crowd they lead the motherfucking crowd bitch and i don't mean bitch you that's just a statement please don't take that personally Please don't take that like it was meant towards yeah. you. It was just like no, the not, statement blowing out. What you're saying is, 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 is absolutely true. I know it, it really hurts me, but I don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah, just walk away. And here's the thing. Don't let it hurt you. Let it put you on your ride. 
R I D E. Because here's the thing. If somebody here's how, how can I say this? Um, when people feel that way about us, they are in no way for us. They can never be for us because they are already jealous. So if we accumulate more, if we become more successful, they're just going to be more against us. And when people are, are like feeling like that, we sometimes feel like we have to dumb ourselves down to even be around them so that they don't feel bad about our success. That's not our job and that's not our concern. That's not our worry. It's mm -hmm. our job for every single Don't person in this world to grow and expand, to be as successful as possible in whatever they consider success because there are people watching you, especially kids, that are looking for someone to look up to to change their life and show them the way. Don't let a mediocre hater that can't that refuses to make the moves hold you back. You break those chains, you move your booty on, and you get to step in into that place where you are being that person that people are looking at. And if, if haters want to hate, let them hate. But if there are people looking at you that maybe don't have that person in their life, they can look at you and go, see, she did it. I know I can. I know I can because she did. I'm going to follow her steps and I'm going to get there too. And I'm going to do even better. And you're going to keep doing better. And they're going to keep doing better. And you're going to start an organization to help them do better. And it's going to be a cycle. And that's the cycle you need to be on. I always say if people are riding your coattails, take that freaking coat off. Take the coat off. It's, it's slowing your climb. And you are not here for those people. Those are not your people. And okay. leaders are never part of the crowd. Leaders are never having hundreds of friends. Successful people don't worry about, yeah, I know all these people and they do this, that, and the other thing. That's no successful people are never in the end. You are a business. Let me put it to you this way. I say this with dating and I say it with life. You are a business. Anybody who is against any part of your business is going to ruin your business. Anybody who is talking crap about your business is going to ruin your business. Anybody who is not helping your business to flourish is holding your business back. You are a business. Each person is a business in their own right. How far can you take your business? And let me tell you this also. Once you let go of these people, people that you come into alignment with will be people that will help you go up to the next level, will help you grow and expand, people that will actually show you things that you may not have realized and take you places you you you've been wanting to go or help open those doors or you'll just be on that level with other people who are as successful as you want to be okay okay huh. yes, thank you. <laughs> jesus okay <laughs> that was a lot coming through from them and i'm really grateful for it i'm actually going to go back and listen to that again because that was really powerful and very beautiful and thank you so much for letting them share that with you thank you very much i appreciate it so much you are welcome and i'm going to tell you i do think that there is a business idea if you're not if you're not already doing this there's a business idea inside of you that needs to come out and to be put into reality. Okay. Okay. I always say don't quit your day job. Too, right? I'm, 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 thank you. Yes, you're, you're spot on. Good. <laughs> Start it. Now, don't quit your day job. If you have a day job, don't quit your day job. Get this to a point where you're doing this than your day job and then go full term with that. But I do feel 
And I'm going to tell you this too. I want you to listen because I think they said you're going to start at some point an organization where you teach people how to be successful too or something like that. So go back and listen to that again, okay? Because that things that come okay, out I when I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, I said I definitely will, absolutely. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for calling in, love. I hope this was helpful and I thank look forward you. to talking with you again. Thank you so much and thank them for me too, please. Oh, they, they say they love you and they're with you always and you are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, hey, Patrick. Hey, Kanchan. 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 I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. Okay, if there is a question in the... Um, if there's a question in the chat, let me know. You know what, I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm actually going to go to 916. 916, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Christine. I'm calling from California. How can I help you today, love? Hi, thank you. I was just wondering if, um, or what you see regarding my relationship and if it is meant for me to stay around or just to go my own way. I know I make my own decisions, but I'm just mixed feelings right now with what is presented to me right now. Okay. What's the first name of your partner? Martin, M -A -R, like Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N. Okay, Martin. Okay. I'm going to say what I'm hearing. <laughs> this is not the totality of the person. Okay. This is not mm -hmm. all of what this person is. They're bringing out these qualities because that's what's important based on your question. I know there's a lot of other characteristics to this person. The first thing I hear is condescending. Mm -hmm. And when that's the first word I hear, it always makes me... Um, it, it It is, if somebody's condescending, you can never have a healthy relationship with them. Um, even mm -hmm. if it's like a passive, yes. aggressive, um, joking, condescending, like they say something negative mm -hmm. to you and then go, I was just joking. Mm -hmm. You're not funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, very condescending. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're going to tell jokes, let them be about you. Maybe then I'll laugh. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> this long term, which you, I feel like, here's what I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to make this really fast because, you know, I'm getting to that point of the hour in the show. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. You've already, you may yeah. have already noticed that you're shutting down a little bit or you're getting a little mm -hmm. bit more self-conscious or something about Nineteen this relationship seconds. is kind of shrinking who you are a little bit. It, you may not, mm -hmm. if you, you've already noticed it, they're saying you've noticed it. That's going to continue until you are hopeless and a little bit helpless. And they're saying what they want to say is, it might be time for you to consider what I call the exit plan or a strategy to remove yourself mm -hmm. from the situation because we can't all just go goodbye, block, done. Sometimes we have to make a plan, mm -hmm. separate emotionally, psychologically, yada, yada, yada. They're saying that's your best bet in this situation because this person is not going to change. They're going to be very hot and cold on and off. You need to uh -huh. do what is best for your soul in this case. Okay, love? Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I love each and every one of you.